Hi, friends. <laughs> I wanted to just share something with y'all today. Um, I'm on my inside camera, so please excuse me if, um, like, I, it's just the quality is not going to be, it's not going to be, it's not going to give, okay? The quality is not going to give today. But I wanted to share something real fast with you. And this was something that God broke down. He broke it down to me um, regarding, um, regarding fear over feelings. I found myself a lot throughout this journey, um, like saying, I don't feel like it. I don't feel like doing this. I really don't feel like doing this. I, I would, I mean, I was banging it. I don't feel like doing this. I don't feel like getting up. I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like cooking. I don't feel like cleaning. I don't feel like it. I just didn't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I did not feel like doing nothing that I was supposed to be doing or that I really, really wanted to do. I just didn't have the desire to do it. And so ever since a few days ago, when he broke this down to me, honey, I've been on and cracking. Okay. First of all, Girl, first of all, let me go to this page. And this is just going to be real fast. I'm, I'm going to try not to be real long with this. Because he gave me a diagram and everything. So, faith over feelings. Faith is having the authority to change or manipulate an outcome based on your needs and desires. So, that's just the basic terminology of what faith is. Faith is saying, despite what I see, this is what I expect. And, um, and then I said, AKA speaking God's word over your situation. You may have bills due coming up. It's the first of wake up, wake up, wake up. It's the first of the month. It's the first of the month. You might be like, look, I got bills due and the bills are coming in. The late notices are coming in. And you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do, baby. What you're going to do is you're going to put that word on it. Do you have faith or do you have feelings? Okay, so faith is having the authority to change, manipulate an outcome based on your needs and desires, aka speaking God's word of your situation. It manipulates your circumstance and commands your situation to do as you say. Feelings are an inward reaction to your perception of a situation. It is mainly governed by the five senses, taste, touch, sound, and smell. It is a reaction. Your feelings are a reaction to what you're perceiving. And the reason that the Lord said the word perception to me is because we all perceive things differently. We perceive things differently. It's based on your life experience, your history, the way that you grow up. I may look at um, the leaves falling. You may look at the leaves falling and something said, oh, the trees is dying. And I'm saying, ooh, I'm about to, I'm about to get all this and, and, and rake it all up and I'm about to jump in that joint. It's all about your perception. So understand that your feelings are based on your perception, which does not necessarily mean that that's your reality. Oh, my mouth getting so juicy. I never had, my mouth don't usually be this juicy. But that is what your feelings are. Your feelings are a perception, what you perceive a situation to be. And most of the time you won't, Okay. So then we did a little breakdown even more. He broke it down even more. He said, faith is spiritual. Feelings are superficial because feelings change. You know how you could be having a bad day and somebody will come up to you and say, hey, let me take you out for a two for 24 at Applebee's. You can be like, okay. It like the wind. Do not ever rely on your feelings. Now it's different when we talk about intuition, we talk about Holy Spirit and how he speaks to us. That's usually down in here. That's not up in here. That's head. This is heady. This is your feelings. Down here is where your Holy Spirit resides. I call it my nucleus. Okay. Faith is proactive. Feelings are reactive. Again, going into faith being how you expect the situation to turn out, how you expect the situation to go. Yes, I might be sick, but I will get well by faith. I will get well. That is what I expect. Feelings say, oh, my body hurts so bad. I, I'm throwing up. I can't keep no food down. I, I'm sick. It's perceiving. Mm, we done with that. And when I tell you I'm such a, I used to be such a feeler until he freed me up with this. Faith is offensive. 
feelings are defensive. Feelings, uh, faith goes on the offense. It attacks that fear. It attacks that anxiety. It attacks those bad nerves, that bad report that you got, those bills that's late. It's, it's attacking with what you expect. I know this is what I see, but this is what I expect. It is authoritative. Feelings, maybe you might as well get up under a rock and cry, okay? You might as well get up under a rock and cry, baby, because your feelings is just, oh, it's so bad. Oh my God, I don't. Your feelings is fake, okay? Feelings can be liars too, okay? Faith is power and authority. Faith is power and authority. I speak to a thing and I command it to change. I speak to a situation and I command it to, cha to change. I speak to this mountain and I command it to move. Feelings say, this is helplessness. I am a victim. This is the circumstance that I'm in and it's not good. Now, I'm talking about negative feelings. Happy feelings are good too, but happy feelings are fleeting as well. We must always stay in a position of faith. This is what I expect. Not I feel happy right now and I feel sad right, right now. And I feel led to speak to women who are going into their marriage season. Holy Spirit, thank you. I feel like if God is really attacking you with your feelings, you just really feel like... I'm extra sensitive right now. I'm extra reactive. You might find yourself even being offended really easily. A lot of us, what he's doing is he's jumping on that nerve. That You know that last nerve we talk about? I, you getting on my last nerve. He's jumping on it. Holy Spirit is jumping on that last nerve because he's trying to kill it. Baby, I don't know who you are. I don't know who you are, but you're getting married soon. Somebody is getting married soon. Somebody that will watch this video in the future or whenever you watch it, I hope that all of these videos find the right person at the right time. You may be getting married soon. You may be coming into a space where you will be interacting with your spouse, somebody that's really close to you. I don't, this is the, this is just the perception that I'm getting. You may be getting to a position where you need to learn how to react on faith as opposed to feelings. You may get into a marriage and it's not what you think it is. That don't mean that that's not the man for you. That just means that you need to operate in your faith. We can't just jump out of stuff because we feel that it's not good or we not feeling it anymore. This don't feel good no more. Baby, faith can change a situation. Again, faith is the authority to manip manipulate the outcome of a circumstance. Okay, that's what the Holy Spirit gave me. I ain't looked that up in a dictionary. That's what he told me. It's the authority to manipulate the outcome of a circumstance based on your needs and desires. Okay, you want that job and you're like, I can't get no job. I can't get no job. Why are you saying that? That is your feeling speaking. That's the reaction speaking. You are going to be employed. Okay. You will get the job that you want. You will sit down and specify and say, Lord, I want this amount per hour. I want to get paid bi-weekly or I want to get paid sa uh, salary. I want the job to be remote so that I can travel. I want the job to be this long or I want this type of manager when I go to my job. We need to start speaking out of our mouth. And the reason that you're not seeing a lot of change is because you're not speaking out your mouth. You're seeing, you're saying what you're seeing. And we walk by faith and not by sight, period. Okay? So we're not doing that no more. It's it's all by spanito. We done, okay? We're done. Get your feelings out the way. Get your faith in action. And I don't care if you got to sit down for me when I get stuff to really, really get it. Excuse me, y'all. My thumbs, I had to take them off. I had to take the thumbs off. <laughs> they was digging into my nail beds and I had to, I got eight, baby. I couldn't do it. I needed my thumbs. When I tell you, we need to start speaking in faith. Say what you want. If the manifestors can manifest, my eyes, my eye color changed in three weeks. I manifested my SP and he's, you know, I made him want me. If they can do that. Oh, baby. I got, I got Jesus on my side. I got Holy Spirit on my side. I got the Father on my side. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, we're not doing no witchcraft. We're not trying to manifest some certain types of certain men. 
we're going to pray, God, this is what I need. God, this is what I want. And I'm going to speak what I want instead of speaking what I see. Oh, you know, me, I personally, I went through a situation last month where I didn't know how I was going to pay a certain bill. And baby, when I tell you, the devil was waking me up with it. Hey, how you going to pay that bill? Baby, I was in, I was under the bed, just fearful, just scared. When I tell you, the Holy Spirit came to me and said, why are you speaking like that? Why are you speaking? That's the reason why your situation haven't changed. First of all, you come to God begging. God, please, please help me, please. I don't know what I'm going to do, please. You begging. First of all, we don't beg our fathers. We don't beg our fathers. That's your father. You don't beg him. You come to him in all power and authority. Papa, I need help. I need you to help me, please. I know you see me. You see me when I rise. You see me when I go to bed. You know everything about me. You perceive my thoughts before I even think them. You knew that this bill was going to be due. So, Lord, I pray that you provide a way. And I thank you for already providing the way for me to pay this bill. Y'all stop it. Stop playing with me. I've been beating the devil up. Okay? And you're going to do it too. I'm not playing with y'all. We're not speaking no more death over our lives. And then they, and then come back and someone say, man, it's getting bad. What? what? Huh? It's getting what? <laughs> For real. We on it this year. It's 2023. A lot of y'all like, dang, I'm getting beat up. 2023 January was like trash. Bro. Baby, we not on that no more. We're not on that no more. It's February. We're going to clean it up. We're going to get it together. It's faith February. Let's get it. Okay? Anything that's beating you up, beat it up with the word. Beat it up with the word of God. Speak your scriptures. And if you got to write it, for me, I write. And I will write that scripture until I feel it down in my soul. And my, I can tell that my mind is changed. My mind is renewed. That's what I need you to do. Okay? I'm done. I'm done. I'm finished. I love y'all so much. And I will be back on here when the Lord give me some uh, some more good juicy tidbits. I have been um anyway, I know anyway. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye.